Hello everyone, Linda Israel here and I am working on a journal that I thought I would share one of the journal pages that I'm making. I'm working with a few kits or elements from Calico Collage as well as some rubber stamps, some of my gel prints, just a variety of things. The theme of this journal is I guess I call it a Paris travel themed journal. One of my followers has requested that I do this as a special event and we were supposed to do it on Monday, August the 31st, but I had no internet and then shortly thereafter we lost power. So it's been an interesting week to say the least. So I thought I would kind of go over what I've got here. These strips that you see at the top of the bottom are from a gel print that I made on August the 30, no, August the 27th. I made this gel print using a page out of a large Bible and the diamond with flare stencil in a couple of different shades of teal and green paint. I turned this into a digital download mainly because I like the pattern so much I wanted to be able to use it over and over. And so I printed it and I cut some one inch by 11 inch strips. And then in the background, I have a Oklahoma map. So it's a map that I picked up at a travel center and I just cut it up. I just wanted something for the foundation. I didn't care if you could see what's underneath, but if you wanted to, you could definitely do a map of maybe the area that you are visiting or plan to visit as the foundation. So I went ahead and I used some Distress Inks Walnut Stain and went around the edges of my strips. And what I'll do first is we're to glue these down at the top and the bottom. It's just a pattern that I like to do to add a little bit of color. You know, so if you have some scraps of paper, you have some washi tape, lace, uh, what else? Painted strips, whatever you think of, use those that you have on your stash. I'm just going to use a lean tacky glue, apply some glue, and then put these on this uh, foundation paper. I don't use a whole lot of glue. I find that a little bit goes a long ways. All right, so I've got those at the top and the bottom, and I've decided that I need to find where the center is just so I know. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this piece of paper in half just so I can kind of get that crease and be able to tell where the center is. I have a page from I think this is from Seven Gypsies. It's a map on one side and it has little words on the other. But again, you know, if you have a map out of a book or you went, you know, somewhere out of the state or country, you could pick up a map. So I know I'm going to put that over here. I'm going to go ahead and trim this to fit just inside the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to use my pencil to make a mark and then I'll trim it with my paper trimmer so that I know that it's straight. And I'll just put some Distress Inks on that edge. I've already done the other edges. All right, so I know this piece is going to go right in here. But before I glue it down, I used a calendar. And I plan to use the image. So it was a Italy calendar, one of those tear-off days. And it's old. It's from 2007. So it's a really old calendar. And it had white space around the images. And I saved some of these strips. I'm going to use one of those right now. So this is one of those strips from the calendar and I know I want to glue it right here on this side. So I'll just go ahead and apply some glue to the back side and then put this down. So it gives me a little bit of writing space. Now I didn't like that this was bright white. So I'm just going to take my distress ink and just ink up a little bit of my dauber and come in here and just barely rub it over that white paper and it just kind of tones it down just a little bit gives it a little bit of a grungy look next I'm going to glue this piece that I trimmed and butt it up against this one and fit it in the middle there this is a great way to use up scraps of paper you want a little pattern you can put those down I've got another piece of this gel print that I want to put from here I'm just going to turn it over just so I can see where I want to mark it and I'm going to trim that so it'll fit right in here on the side. So I'm going to trim that. All right, this piece I'll go ahead and glue. I'll leave a little bit of a gap here on the side so you can kind of see the map in the background, but not a whole lot. And then this is one of the images out of the calendar. I just thought it was interesting with the architectural tr uh, structure in the background and the plants on there. So I have 
gone around it with distress inks and I'm going to glue it to the upper portion of this piece of paper. This piece of paper that I'm gluing it to, I originally cut it to be a five and a quarter by three and a quarter inch pocket that would go across the bottom. And I changed my mind as I was looking at all my scraps of paper and decided that I would turn it into a vertical element. And guess what? I'm going to make it into a pocket. This is from Norella of Calco Collages. She's got a couple of ephemera pages that have like just numbers all over it. And I thought it was kind of fun. So you could pretend maybe that was number 18 or the address is 18, wherever it could be. I'm just going to glue that down on top of the strip. Let's see how that came together. All right, and then this piece, I'm going to glue right in here where it's over this blank area. And I'll glue here, here, and here. I like to rub along that edge wherever I've glued. Make sure that it gets a good adhesive. I'm going to let that dry. And then right about here, I've got from the labels cube. And is it enameled? label or enameled. I, it says Europe and I think one of them says Paris. I'm trying to remember what the others are. Paris, London, Italy, Europe. And yeah, Paris, London, Europe, and Italy. So you get these little pieces. I've done it with some black ink on some ivory cardstock. And let's just glue that. Try to make sure where my center is so I don't go too far. So probably right about there. So it still leaves us a little bit of writing space right here. I want a little decoration here, so I've got a new cube of stamps that is called um, Merci Bercu. Uh, Bercu? Bercu. I don't know how to say it. I'm not French. Don't know how to speak French. Uh, so it's a set of four stamps. I, by the way, if you get cling stamps like these are, I have taken a piece of cardstock. I either stamped or glued the labels along with the names of each stamp onto one side of this piece of cardstock. And then I laminated with a heat laminator. So it's nice and slick and it's perfect for storing my rubber stamps. So I thought I'd give you all a tip like that. That way you know what the image looks like. Also, it helps you remember where to put it when you're done with your stamps. So I thought this might help me out. I plan to try to do it with more, if not all, of my unmounted stamps like this. All right, we're going to ink this up. I'm going to use some Ranger Archival Ink in Jet Black. And it's kind of that little filigree piece. And let's put that right about here. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. So now we're going to decorate this side of the page. For this side, I have a couple more of those strips that were from calendars that I want to put at the top and the bottom here. So I'm going to glue those down. They're a little bit longer than I need, but I know that I can trim those with my scissors pretty easily. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue and then lay this in. It's kind of like a little puzzle. All right, so now I've got those glued into place. I'll go ahead and trim off the edge. I'll put some distress ink on that edge that I just cut off. Okay, I've got another one of the calendar images and a scrap of black cardstock that I just made big enough to mat it. So I think that's approximately four and a half by three and a quarter ish. It just went by a little bit bigger than the image. So I'm going to glue that right in the middle. Then this piece, I'm going to glue, leaving a little bit of a gap between the two and then right here and I'll make this a pocket. So I'm just going to glue across the sides and the bottom. Okay, got that glued down. This is an element that's from the Traveling Through Journal Kit by Calco Collage. And it says Rome. I think it would look pretty cute if I put it right about in there. So I'm just going to glue this down. And I have this kind of a passport cancellation stamp of some kind that is... And I can't remember the set because I need to do the same thing that I've done with my other stamps. But it'll be in the description box because I'll look it up. I'm going to stamp that. Let's put it right kind of overlapping and mainly on this piece of paper that I distressed. So it just kind of ties all that together. See there? 
I have a Eiffel Tower domino image that is from Calico Collage. It may be a Paris themed dominoes. Again, I'll have the links below. Anytime you're looking for one of the things that I use, check that description box below the video. And I think I want to put it well, right about in here. So I'm going to kind of line it up. And then I have this stamp, which is called Paris Cancellation. I do have the name of it. And let's put that all like this. We'll just kind of go over the whole thing. I like that. All right. So now I want to put something in this pocket here. I went ahead and cut a piece of cardstock and it is four, no, three and a quarter, three and three quarters of an inch wide because I wanted it to fit into my pocket. And I believe it's five and a half inches, one, two, three, four, five and a half inches long. So I've got this piece and I want to stamp across the top. So I have the word journal from the journal quartet. So we'll stamp that right in the middle. I'm going to grab a scrap of paper. And I have the Curly Swirly stamp set. This is one of the images. I'm going to ink that up and put it right here on the edge. And do the same on this side. So we've got a pretty cute journal card started right there. But I want to add a little bit more to it. So this is another element. And I think this is from Traveling Through as well. So I want to glue that on the front of this journal card to make it a little pocket. And then I have a few images. This is from the, um, I believe it's also from the Traveling Through kit. And this was a artist trading card group that Norella had. It says a word search. And then this is from the Traveling Through kit as well. And I thought it would look really cute if you just kind of post all of those inside that pocket. And then these can fit just inside that pocket on our page. Do you like that so far? Over here, I happen to have a rubber stamped image. This is the uh, theater ticket. One of the theater tickets this is Royal uh, Alhambra Theater London. And I stamped it on some ivory cardstock. So I thought that would go right there. And then here is another journal card from the traveling through kit that I thought can go here. Well, there is one side, and a lot of people don't understand why I like to do a page layout like this. I like them to be flat like this before I put it in the journal so that I can decorate it however I see fit. And that way, when I'm putting them in my journal, it really kind of helps feel a little more eclectic, like I just put some random things together because you only see half of the page. The page that's next to this may be different unless you make this the center of your journal. All right, so I'm going to make sure that I fold this in half again so I know where my crease is. So there is one side. Pretty cute. All right, let's flip this over and let's decorate this side of the page. All right, so I'm just grabbing a few supplies that... I want to put down. This is a ledger page that I have out of a Seven Gypsies book. It says Ledger. I don't think it has a name on it. It was just something that I had from Seven Gypsies, so I tore out a few of the pages. I trimmed it down so that it would fit onto my page better. And then I have another strip of that gel print that I want to put on here. So that's going to go right over here. And then this is a tear off page from a little notepad that has all kinds of little pages that I picked up a while back, or it may have been a gift. It says $3.99. It was just some uh, punch studios, what it says. It's just some little tear off papers. I like to pick those up because they're so random looking. All right, so we're going to put that over here. This is going to go here. I'm just kind of gauging if I slide this over just slightly. I want to make sure that I have it covered. Okay, that'll work. So we'll put this down in the middle. And I thought I'd gone around the edges, but I'm going to do it really fast. All right, we're going to glue this down in the middle. And then I'm going to glue this piece down in this corner. This piece I'm going to glue down on this side. And I just noticed that my strip from the other side is a little bit longer. And, you know, sometimes when you cut down a larger piece of paper, you may not get it exactly the size that you need. And you can choose to leave those hanging on or you can 
cut them off. I think I'm going to trim it off here in just a moment. So I'm just going to trim this little piece here. And I'm going to trim this piece at the top. Get in there. All right. So there's another image from that calendar. I just thought it was kind of pretty. You know, you could pretend that you uh, took a picture of the balcony that you were saying, the hotel, the resort. I'm going to glue this on in the middle. All right. So this piece, I'm going to glue down in this bottom section here as a pocket. I have another little number from one of Norella's ephemera pages. I think it's called small ephemera and there are numbers, this particular one. Let's put it right about there. All right. So we need to put something here and I've got another one of those domino images. So I want to make sure that I don't go too far. So I'm just going to fold my page in half again and let's place it right about there. So I have a little bit of a, a peak behind it. And I like the way that Paris stamped cancellation looked. So let's put that where it's just kind of coming over that. That's kind of cute. I repeated the same concept of making a journal card where I stamped it. I used one of the ephemera pieces from the traveling through kit. And then I have a Paris ATC size cards. And then this is from the traveling through kit as well. So I'll put those in the pocket here and change it around, put the plainer one in the back. And then that's going to go in this pocket. So I'm going to flip this over to this side. This was the top portion of this ledger paper because it was long enough that I knew I could overlap it and I didn't want to waste the paper. So I cut it off and I took a scrap of black cardstock and let's glue that down in the middle. And then this is going to be a pocket. So I'm going to put it across the page on the bottom as a pocket. I have the another little ephemera from Norella. These are circle images of the Eiffel Tower from Paris. And we'll put that right about here. I have the crown collage and I thought it might look neat to overstamp it with this butterfly is. So it kind of gives us a different texture on there. And then I have some cards. So this is the Eiffel Tower artist trading cards. And I think this says flowers for my lady. It's an artist trading card set that Norella has. And then this one is like, has word search and bingo, maybe game cards is maybe what it's called. I thought that would look kind of cute with those tucked in like that. So here is the other side of our journal page where we have a journal card with a pocket. So you could write on the back side here. You can write on the backs of these. This one has lines on the front. You have writing space here. You have writing space here as a little bit there as well. And of course you can write on the backs of those. And then if you flip this over, we have a little hidden tuck spot behind the image here. You can write a little bit here. We have this pocket where you can write here and here. And of course you've got these pieces that come out and you can write on the back sides of those. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing my take of a Paris themed travel journal page. I will be back with more tutorials and there'll be a live stream coming up pretty soon. I just have to get with the gal that wants this journal to find out when she wants me to do the stream. She has a family emergency and of course I had no internet on Monday. So we got to coordinate that again so she can be at the live stream and I'll be making three journals that I'll share during that live stream. Hey, if you like what I do, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, use that comment box down below. Look for the description box for links to things that I use today. Know that I'm usually live as long as I have internet or I'm not on vacation on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. And again on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Monday, I do journals. On Thursdays, we do mixed media and usually make something to go into a journal. Well, again, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Have a fabulous day, everybody. Bye.